Hello. I'm not quite sure what day it is, what month it is. I have lost a total sense of time and space. It just feels like a freedom of movement moving through the many pieces and parts of me that are the planet. And yesterday we came from Massachusetts to Vermont, which was absolutely an extraordinary drive. The colors, I mean, oh my goodness, the brilliant reds and the crimsons and the the leaves turning into the goldens and the oranges and the sun coming over the hills and I just thought of the way that we really change and turn in our brilliant shows and then we allow things to fall away hopefully or we take those leaves and we carry them in the wind with us when we can't let go and then we go into our quiet place until we bloom again but yet fall also re reflects the harvest that's coming from a lot of work that's done and can we embrace that harvest and have thanksgiving for it and I don't know it just really it awakened all of my senses and my imagination and my creativity and it came as such a beautiful gift after the most amazing experiences in Massachusetts uh, on Sunday the uh, fall equinox we had the most amazing event at Bliss Life Yoga with Karen Dial and her place is absolutely beautiful she is absolutely beautiful and holds such a space of energy there she really is doing amazing work and she's been doing it for over 20 years and it just exudes from her she she is definitely an epitome of the goddess and so if you are a woman and you truly want to see and feel and know you know the movement of a goddess I would say just you know see her, be be around her, look at her in the videos that I'm going to be posting and you're going to get that essence and it's more about being in the body and, and really feeling connected to yourself and, and all of your sensuousness and your emotions and your senses and um, a really beautiful thing to see, more and more women just truly embodying their goddess nature and there were so many there, I mean Janine Sullivan has been such a support on this journey and really brought people together in a community, a beautiful community of people. I mean, there were men, there were women. It was a packed house. I got so filled. Um, the show, you know, happened in the way that it happened, and it was beautiful because it was a little bit different every time, and people received what they needed to. There were tears, and there were laughter, and after the show, you know, people, we were, we were embracing, and we were looking at each other's eyes, and we were really connecting and it was just this divinity, this divine oneness experience that took place and you know I I have to stop because I I kind of came out in the world for this to be a year in service and the the beauty of this is is I'm also receiving so very much I'm I'm being filled so much my heart is continually expanding and um, I'm just experiencing love in a way that is so all-encompassing and expansive and when I see these various beautiful faces and hold these amazing beautiful bodies in my own arms I just I feel at one I, I feel like I connected to the rest of me and so this is a really beautiful journey and I can feel something going on inside of me I can feel kind of a I, I don't know what it is to call it I, I don't it's not really a shift it's it is um, it's a celebration it's it's like cells popping open like champagne bottles and 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 there's something uh, there's an effervescence that is just awakening and alivening in me more and more and it is creating more creativity and more uh, ways to see and more ways to behold and hold and uh, it's an amazing thing when you really strike out on something that is so entirely unknown and you really let yourself go there and don't hold back regardless of what's showing up and you really take in all of the brilliance of the experience but the brilliance of yourself and the brilliance of every step that is to come it is true inspiration and I think you know, there's so many of us that want to be inspirational, you know, or want to be inspired. And inspire is really about inspiring. It's about breathing in. It's about breathing in life. And I think about, 
you know, our shortness of breath or people with different breathing issues um, or, or the tightness in the chest that, that is felt by so many. And really what is necessary to release that is to be willing to inspire, to breathe in, to inspire, to lift up, to inspire, to let out and serve. And I just can only tell you that it, it creates more energy when you give that to yourself first. Put your mask on before you put the mask on other people, so they say. Well, it is definitely the case when it comes to service, when it comes to being inspired, when it comes to connection and love and all the things that we are desiring, abundance and health. We just can't have it on the outside until we give it to the inside. So today, make yourself a priority. Make everything you need a priority. Dive into the most selfish place that you can because that is not a bad word. It is the word to give you everything you need so that you then are filled and can give back out. So we are here in Vermont. I'm taking the day to uh, finish up the magazine, catch up on emails, finally got some internet that will work, and really try to catch up on a lot of things before our show tomorrow night in Shelburne, Vermont at All Souls Faith Gathering. And um, Maggie and Tuck have taken Sage and Krish out to the Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream Factory and Cider Mill. So that sounds fun, and they've got a few other stops along the way. The weather is cool and crisp. We're all snuggled up in our socks and our sweaters, and heaters are on, and um, leaves are changing. Leaves are blowing in the wind. They're falling. The colors are rising, and the rays of light are moving throughout this country. Move with us on the Rebel Road. In love, of love, with love, and as love, I'm Simran Singh. Be well.